Hello and welcome to the Scatterable channel. And today let's go over my favorite PCs I would recommend building centered around the new Intel Arc B580. So the Intel Arc B580, although unfortunately I don't have one here on my hands, Intel didn't send me a review sample, is going to be probably the most exciting graphics card we've seen released under $300 in a long while. Now this video is being made before reviews come out, so I don't know quite how fast it's going to be or if it'll deliver in terms of drivers, which are the two big questions going into this graphics card's release. But according to my YouTube community post, you guys think the performance of this new graphics card is going to land right around where an RTX 4060 is up to maybe where an R RX 6700 XT is, which would be, I think, an accomplishment for $250 which actually, as of recording this video, before reviews go live, there are already some models that are out of stock from pre-order, but these are indeed $250, a little bit more, 270 here, 270 here, 260 for this ASRock Challenger model. So this is hopefully going to be a really great graphics card for budget PC gamers. And if the performance of this graphics card lands where I think it's gonna land, this technically by definition will be an entry level 1440p gaming graphics card. And these builds I'm gonna show you in today's video can do entry level 1440p gaming performance without breaking the bank. All three of them, or technically four, are below $1,000. So I'll be showing you guys those PC builds real quick, but first a message from our sponsor. If you're looking to activate Windows on your gaming PC, then look no further than mycdks.com. Whether it's Windows 11, 10, Home, or Pro, or any other various programs, you can find various software keys on my CDKS, and purchasing and activating them takes a matter of seconds. And in fact, with my discount code SV30, you can get anything on their site for 30% off. So links in the description for more. All right, so the builds I'm gonna go ahead and cover in this video can be found on my website, pcbuilds.gg. It's a really cool website that shows you a bunch of different PCs you can build at various price ranges. Most of them are geared towards the most price to performance, but a few of them are a little bit different. Like if you want a more multimedia or productivity focused PC, or even like a specialty virtual reality PC that is portable that you can use in your living room. But otherwise, let's not get off topic. Let's go ahead and set the GPU manufacturer to Intel because we're using the Intel Arc B580. And here I've got three candidate PC builds. We'll start off at $700. So this is essentially my existing $700 PS5 Pro Pillar gaming PC build that I put out a few months ago. And it's got the Ryzen 5 5600, a B550M motherboard, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory, a one terabyte PCI Gen 3.0 SSD. This can be a 4.0 if you got more budget. It really doesn't matter. You can use one of the SSDs that I recommend in my more expensive PC build guides and just throw it in here if you want something with a DRAM controller and then a different PC case because the last one I used ran out of stock. So we have this nice one here from Zalman, the P10, which we've got some decent airflow in actually, although there's none here at the front. There is a little bit of a mesh there at the bottom of the case for some fans here at the bottom right below where the Intel Arc B580 would go. And for the Intel Arc B580, if we look, and this is how I know how much power supply is required for any of my PC builds. I just type in the graphics card name along with recommended power supply. And here in Google, it tells me what kind of power supply will be required for the graphics card of your choice. And this is really it. So it says it needs at least 650 watts. That's what we already recommend in our $700 gaming PC. So we're good right there. And again, here's that Intel Arc B580. Once again, this is being filmed before reviews go live. I hope this graphics card lives up to certain expectations set for it. But come the day of this video, there will be links for this graphics card if you'd like to check it out for yourself from Amazon Newegg and maybe Best Buy. But what's also cool about PCBuilds.gg is say there's stock and inventory issues with the B580. I've got alternatives linked alongside it like this RX 7600 XT here from Gigabyte. But once again, this does cost more. And the thing is, will the B580 be as fast as say a 7600 XT for $50 less? That would be 
very surprising and really good for Intel. But this can do 1440p gaming on a budget, I'll say it. Uh, I hope the reviews for this graphics card live up to its expectations, the performance is what it is for 1440p, but otherwise this would be a smart budget PC to build around the B580. The most important part is to make sure that it has resizable bars supported, which the 5600 and the B550M motherboard that I chose, I mean, as long as you go with any B550 motherboard, will support resizable bar, which will allow you to unlock the full performance of that Arc B580. Now, if you wanted to build that exact gaming PC, but have a faster CPU for say, eSports PC games at 1440p, then let's look at my $800 gaming PC, because it's really similar to the last one, but uses an entirely different CPU platform. Here we have the AMD Ryzen 5 7500F, the best budget gaming CPU, period, under $200 and an affordable B650M motherboard, 32 gigabytes of DDR5 memory, clocked at 6,000 megahertz with a cast latency of 30, a one terabyte M.2 PCI Gen 4.0 SSD, a better case, you know, that's how it is. And again, the same power supply as before, but once again, paired up with that Arc B580. And this makes for a really nice $800 gaming PC. In fact, if the Intel Arc B580 lives up to expectations, I think this is the first PC build I will make with it because this fits really well at an $800 budget because you're getting the latest and greatest generation from AMD through the Ryzen 5 7500F on the AM5 socket, along with hopefully a really well-performing 1440p entry-level graphics card. And if you add up the prices, this does come to around $830, although you can find some cheaper 7500Fs from AliExpress for like $130. Actually, it's more like $153, but I have this one linked because this one works. This is a verified seller for the 7500F based off of my experience. There are some cheaper ones like this one here from $130, but again, that's up to you. You're welcome to pretty much check out any of these. They should be good as long as you check out reviews and how credible the seller is. But again, this is gonna have performance similar to the $700 PC that I just talked about, but with an even faster CPU. So if you come across any CPU bound PC games at 1440p, so those would be esports games, like assuming the drivers for the B580 work on launch, Fortnite, Apex Legends, Counter-Strike 2, Overwatch 2, a little bit of Call of Duty, and Valorant, then with this faster CPU, you will be able to get more FPS, more so, than the $700 PC, which features a slower last generation Ryzen processor. But this one is on the latest AM5 socket with DDR5 memory. It's gonna be a faster CPU nonetheless for those games that aren't as graphically demanding and require more of the CPU for performance. Now, as a little teaser, I do have a $600 gaming PC build here that would be ideal for the Arc B750 coming out in January. That'll be interesting to see if it's also a good graphics card, but you could also swap out the B580 into this one if you wanted as well. Just make sure that you have a 650 watt 80 plus bronze power supply. But finally, and this one, I don't officially have the Intel Arc B580 loaded into the build list, but depending on how good it is in terms of performance, it could knock out the existing graphics card in this build list. Here's my $900 gaming PC. It's the exact same as the $800 PC that I just covered, but this one uses the Radeon RX 6750 XT for about 300 and $20. And the big question is where the B580 is going to land in terms of performance. If it exceeds expectations, then it could be as fast as the Radeon RX 6750 XT, but for about $70 less. And that would be incredible. Is that likely? I don't think so. But if it is, expect this PC build to be updated when this video drops with the Intel Arc B580 loaded in, which would be really cool, because then that make this more of an $840 gaming PC. Because again, this is the exact same as the $800 one, but we do have a nicer PC case in here from Zalman, that being this P30, which is still on a nice discount even into December. So all in all, I think you can still build some nice PCs centered around the B580 if you're able to get your hands on one, even this late into December, which is still cool to see. So. If you're looking at building a budget gaming PC this holiday season and you feel like you missed out due to Black Friday and Cyber Monday, don't worry. You can still build something pretty decent with the B580, assuming it's a good graphics card and assuming you're able to get one soon before the holiday season and New Year's all wraps up. So with all that said, this website, along with the Intel Arc B580, 
assuming it's good, will be all linked in the description below. I'm definitely gonna pick one up from Micro Center and find out for myself how good it is on launch day, because again, I didn't get sent one from Intel, which, Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, that'd be really awesome. And if you enjoy PC build videos and PC build guide videos, subscribe to the Scatterville channel because that is what I'm known for. And that's my bread and butter. And you should subscribe mostly for that. So with all that said, thank you so much for watching. And this is the Scatterville channel, signing out.